They, they got to the final <laughs> last year, so they're a very good side. We mentioned Aaron Malloy joining as well. So let's see how it goes up against a, a young and exciting Miami FC team. Get the yeah. angle right. Miami trying to push forward. Gavalanias. Look, he's got a lane and a wide open net for Gavalanias. He scores! Oh. What's feast or famine for Adam Grinwis? And he gets paid badly on this one. Gavalanias is third. Three in a row for him. And Miami leads early. One to nothing. Are we witnessing a special talent here in Alan Gavalanias? After the OC match and two goals, you're thinking, is he going to score again? But the way he takes us past Grinwis and from a tight angle, it's, it's a predator's instinct. You see the gap, you take it, you've got the pace to accelerate, and you can go from a tight angle into the back of the net. Have they found a really, really special player here, Miami FC? Because it certainly looks so at this stage. I think it was Dalton Knudsen and beats him then, heads it right down and low past Daniel Gugliardi. That is another snow. We've got two fantastic strikers on either side. Markanik scoring his third and Gavalanias his third of the season. Unbelievable. Two goals in the matter of a couple minutes. Markanik his fourth goal of the season. And you blink and all of a sudden, oh, yeah. it's yeah. not something in between where the action's going back and forth on counters or on set plays. But on a set piece like that, you can identify that stuff right away. Gutierrez, Diego, looking for an angle. He's got one, that right foot blocked on the way through by Cardona. Gogli already got to that one at the last moment. That was some trouble with a little bit of spin on it. The one hopper, and he makes a good stop. Yeah, it's something you should say, but it, for a moment there, you think Marquena has just got enough on it to maybe sneak inside the post. Look, as it comes, it's a quick shot for the goalkeeper. Good feet, good hands. He seems to be a very good shooter for a number of years. Myers near the six. He's looking for some space. He's wide open. That shot, though, blocked the way through by Knudsen. You know, it seems like he wants to do something similar. He wants an attacking side as well. You can't always be attacking. You got to, Sometimes the other team doesn't give you the ball. So you've got to defend. But there seems to be two very positive coaches that we have here today. Arcanic gave that off into the box. The spin, the turn, the chip wiped out the first strike. The second one won't go either. Cardona and Knutsa were both there converging oh, and a fine play defensively for Miami FC. Save of the week nominee, maybe once or twice. <laughs> Gogliardi. Plays this one up wide. Mejia to the left. Gavalanias here on the right. He's looking around. Real estate left foot right on target. Bad play there from Guanzano. It leads to a turnover here. Myers left side. Gutierrez trying to work short side. Good stop there by Gogliardi. Corner kick powered by Toyota of Hollywood. Malloy. On service, a little too short. Wow, that was awfully close. Markanik scoring tonight in the 11th minute. That was the equalizer. Gavalanias is third. Mejia can't keep it. Could be some trouble brewing here for Charleston Battery. Looking for more. Myers Malloy, that one rejected. Well, Miami FC's back line has been an absolute wall. Gogliardi, who's made a couple nice stops, has been shielded nicely by his back line. That left-footed strike, two hands on it from Gogliardi. Late chance here again for Charleston Battery. Lofted in the air by Rodriguez. Just outside, Malloy. Gogliardi can't get to that one in time. So the heat is on for Charleston Battery. They're putting this... Torres was the intended target. They worked quickly on the throw in. Torres, oh, almost an old call. Great stop by Gogliardi. How did he pull that one out of his hat? And one of the elements is dispersing of a spell that is here in Miami. They have yet to win at any time in franchise history. Markanik with a drive. 
That one tries to sneak past Gagliardi. He says no. Pretty good whip on that ball. Yeah, Gagliardi making it look like it was a pass back. He just sort of took, took, took two steps and just plucked it out the air as if it was nothing. But when he hit it, Mark Koenig, I thought, wow, what a strike. Sprung loose. Watch out here. Could be a possible break. Luisinho on the right side. Has that shot and just misses by a foot. See here, they go from yellow shirt to yellow shirt. <laughs> as soon as I say that, they lose. But see how quickly they get it back. Wow, Luisinho is upset with Adam Kilpatrick, the lead official, but one turnover is exchanged for another. But every time they win at Miami, it's the only do is give it back to Charleston. Yeah. Markanik here. Myers in the middle of the yard. Markanik jostling with Knutson. Wins it over the left-hand side. Torres, Booth got in front. The second one! Great stop! The rebound, they score! M.D. Myers, a fat rebound. He's jolly on the spot. Charleston Battery with their first lead in the 82nd minute, and it's 2-1. That's a great finish from MD Myers because he was in the right place at the right time. He's a fox in the box that you need from a striker, from a number nine, and he was there. Booth's effort pushed out by Gagliardi. You can't blame the goalkeeper here. The ball comes in with a lot of pace, but this is it. They've been trying to get shots on goals, and as it bounces, he hits it really well. Good save from the goalkeeper, but he can't push it away from danger. What he's saying is, was MD Myers in an offside position when that was hit? Well, very difficult to see there. I can't tell if he was. For getting a real amount of power behind it and causing Gagliardi all sorts of problems. Toyota of Hollywood corner kick. Cabral, Lofty. Luisinho. Luisinho off a defender. Oof. Dangerous moment there. Poorly struck. Mm. Poorly struck, and that's how this night will end for Miami FC. Well, Gary, you mentioned it throughout. Charleston Battery, the better team. They did